All right, we're back here getting ready to put her up to the rail here and see about getting down on her and getting a ride on her here this morning. So I'm going to normally, in the past, I've made these reins up when I get them alongside, but I found that over the time here, over the years, it's sometimes better to just make the reins up and get them used to these reins coming on and off them. And then kind of set them up to the rail with the reins already made up. And then I can put them over their head and, and get down on them and get ready for the ride. <clears throat> this ain't going to be nothing fancy, probably. We're going to be just crawling down on her here, hopefully. I'm going to get on and off her once and just see, make sure she's okay with me getting here and getting down. Okay. That was pretty good. Set back up here a little bit. We're gonna get on safely. It's a little bit too far away. Let's see if I can get her up here a little bit closer. Yeah. Keep her head up. Oh, no, come on, don't go that. <clears throat> I want her head up so that if she jumps, it's not all the way to the ground right off the bat. Latch, keep the range short on this side, and then just kind of sit and wait on her. I don't want her back and, you know, for her first time riding here. She starts to back up and then I'm just going to kick those hind quarters around a little bit and get her, get her hind quarters moving one way or the other <clears throat> so I can keep her under control here a little bit and get her feet moving until she figures out how to take a step forward. It's all about working off the groundwork that we've already done, getting her to bend and move those hindquarters around and flex until she figures out how to get her balance and, and move, move forward. Right now, she's kind of gangly a little bit, trying to figure out how to get her feet up and get going, but she'll figure that out as we go here.
just kind of lean a little bit, kind of get her feet under her until she takes a step out there. Now, if I had, you know, other helpers or in a cold starting clinic, I'd have somebody with a good saddle horse in here that would be just starting to push these guys around and get them moving and play bumper cars with a bunch of other colts and, and they wouldn't have a chance to really sit and think about things. But because I work by myself all the time, I don't have that luxury of getting somebody in here to move them around for me. So I just got to kind of keep them busy and thinking and doing something with their head or letting them realize that I'm still up here and until they get tired of just standing here. See, this is where, this is where the work in the hindquarters comes in a little handy when they get their feet up underneath them. They'll figure out how to move those hindquarters around. But she's a little bit sticky right now. And she's just kind of there. That's better. Now she's under herself. And we can kind of get her back up there and figure things out. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't know what that was all about. Hmm? What was that all about? Let's go try this again. Some guys would have maybe just kicked her in the belly and got her up and she'd have got scared and took off, but I really didn't want to do that. It's easier for me to step off with no fuss and muss and start again rather than tipping her over or having her tip down on me or something happen that both of us would regret. What she's doing is just kind of setting back on herself rather than getting up and thinking about going someplace. Keep her up there. Take a couple steps. See if I can get her to do something here rather than back away. <laughs> Got Vic coming over here. Maybe she can go over to the side of the pen there and maybe. She'll come over and want to see her. We'll see what happens here. Maybe she'll just kind of walk over there, check Vic out. And I got the flies starting to come out a little bit now too. And that's kind of bothering her. This is kind of some of the issues that you have with starting real young horses, two-year-olds, because they're just not physically mature, they're not mentally mature, their legs are still growing, they're not real solid on their feet, and sometimes it's real hard for them to figure out how to get under themselves and get their legs out of the ground and actually move someplace, and it's not like they want to 
get mad or something. They just can't figure out what they need to do. up there A little something. Still a little bit of backing away, but that's all right. We got to step forward too. Try walking around this side over by the water trough. Now walk. Now walk. This way, this way, this way. The way she was going. Keep walking. That's, I don't care if we're in the camera or not. As long as she's walking forward, that's what we want. Good girl. probably out of the camera range but Vic is just walking around the outside of the round pen here and getting her to you know not think about me so much up here get herself underneath herself get her legs going and and uh, get her to go someplace okay go clear over there on that other side
stop right there. Okay, go the other way now. Step. What I'm doing is just kind of shifting my body weight a little bit and getting her to take a couple steps one way or the other. We've got her go from this end to the other end of the arena or the other end of the round pen there. She's pretty calm and laid back. And it's just a matter of figuring out how to get her feet unglued a little bit. <clears throat> and get her to think about going a little bit here, which is me directing. What are we at? 18. Okay, go ahead and break it and then start it again. <laughs> 